Hi, my name is Brian Schwab. I own and operate Orlando Barbell, a 24-hour card access facility that's geared towards individuals who are trying to increase their strength to improve their quality of life. I have a Bachelor of Science degree in Exercise and Sports Sciences from the University of Florida and am a Certified Strength and Conditioning Specialist through the National Strength and Conditioning Association. I'm also a competitive powerlifter with the highest total of all time at 148 and the third highest total of all time at 165. Today we're going to be de discussing uh, a product that I recently designed. It is a glute ham raise for home use uh, called the Home Glute Ham Raise. Um, I'm going to show how to put it together and also how to properly use it. Uh, my main reason for designing this piece of equipment is because I have a couple different glute ham raises in the gym and I've also watched many people perform glute ham raises and noticed that you don't really need to go below parallel with the ground uh, to optimally benefit your glutes and hamstrings. And actually what you end up doing is increasing momentum by incorporating a back extension with it. So this eliminates the use of a frame and actually helps to isolate the hamstrings and glutes. When your home glute ham arrives, it's going to be uh, in four different pieces. You have the knee pad, the foot plate, the uh, leg holder, and the additional piece, which is used to add more weight if necessary uh, to counterbalance on the back end. So all you need to do for assembly, it's pretty simple, is just slide the knee pad into the foot plate. Eventually you'll have to decide what the optimal setting is for you. For me, it is having two holes showing. You can set the foot holder at two different positions. Uh, to use the glue hand properly, you're going to want it higher up. If you want to do abs on it, you're going to want it lower down. So we're going to have it at the higher setting right now. And another great benefit of the home glute hand raise is that you can incorporate it with a push-up. So for individuals who may have a hard time performing a glute ham raise on their own, they can incorporate a push-up and gradually use less and less upper body assistance while using more and more glute and hamstring strength. So ideally what you wanna do when you get set up is make sure that your knees are just right above the ground. So maybe an inch or two above the ground, like mine are. That way you're gonna get the most range of motion and you're also going to put less excessive stress on your hamstrings. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a few reps so you can get an idea. I'm gonna do both a few assisted and then a few without. Um, actually, before I do that, uh, I need to put the counterbalance on. I found that ideally, um, for counterbalance, you need approximately 25 pounds of weight per uh, 100 pounds of body weight. I weigh about 175 right now, so I'm gonna put a 45 and a 25 on top. All you do is slide it on the back, very simple. I'm ready to go. So like I said, position your knees right off the end of the pad. Start basically straight up, go down, extend your legs, incorporate it with a push-up if necessary, and up. As you can see, you can use less and less, or just use your hamstring strength on its own. Uh, I'll go over some other exercises later, but it gives you a basic idea of how to use the home glute hand.